Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in the last video, when we ended it, I said that we're going to be setting up our static files. I'm actually saying screw that for right now. Uh, what we want to do is we're going to be using um, the React JSX template engine. And there's a project called Express React Views, which actually takes our JSX code on the server side. And it compiles it down to regular JavaScript, and it looks like um, you know a regular HTML page. So the benefit of doing that is that um, search engines like Google can come along and see our content. So if you have content that can just be generated on the server, it's fast, um, it's reliable, and it can be indexed by search engines, and it's not all, you know, changing JavaScript files, which uh, can cause some issues. So in order to use this project, we're going to go ahead and um, set up a few things. So number one, we're going to go ahead and uh, and copy some shite, and we want to put that actually around where we're setting this port name that should be fine so I'm gonna copy and paste this code because I don't want to screw it up and uh, what we have here let me zoom out is we're adding this section right here and we're saying that we're we're setting up a view engine and the view engine with Express are, there's like 20 different options you can do you can use Jade mustache um, you can use whatever you want in our case we're gonna be using JSX because JSX is react and react is cool it's a hip thing uh, nowadays and it's fast and it's it's just awesome so what we're doing here is uh, first we're saying app.set and we're giving it a views and we're telling it where to find the views of our, our, our project so we're saying it's going to be this dir name is actually the root directory of our project and then we're saying that it's going to be in a views folder of our root directory so you can see we don't have a views folder so let's go ahead and add that now so we're going to right click and uh, add a views folder and now inside of our views folder that's actually where our templates are going to be so let's go ahead and create our first um, JSX file using the React uh, framework, which is really awesome. We're going to say index.jsx. So we have this index.jsx file now in our views, which is cool. Let's go back over to the app.js file. We're going to need to install this project here, this module using npm. Let's kill the server by pressing Control C, and we're going to use the npm install. Let me just paste that project name express react views and we're going to do hyphen hyphen save again so it'll add it to our config file that we talked about in our last video so it's going to go through it's going to install everything that express react views needs and once it's done we should get a success message but while we're waiting for that let's go ahead and minimize this and in the views folder let's go ahead and create our first um, our first uh, our first view So what we're going to do in uh, the view folder, let's go in the index. At the top, we need to make use of our React. So we're going to say React equals require React. And then we're going to say variable. Um, actually, we're not going to have a default layout for right now. Let's go ahead and create our component. Let's just say uh, variable index component. equals react dot create class and if you've ever used react before this is just standard react stuff that we're writing right now so we're going to say return um, or a render function and then here uh, we actually give it a return statement so return and for right now let's go ahead and just give it a div and then we'll put in a this was built using using react so react on the server side is going to actually transfer this jsx code to standard html and it's going to look like it was just a regular template so basically you're using react as a template language and because you're actually rendering a javascript template on the server that's actually called isomorphic javascript which is another hip term uh, these days if you want to be a cool hip uh, you know dork anyway um, let's go ahead and uh, do the final module that exports because I've said anytime you want to actually have a module you need to actually do that and then we're gonna say uh, index component so we're making we're exporting this uh, index component we're also gonna need to install react because we don't have that installed and we would get a message saying that don't worry about these dependencies. It's actually saying React isn't installed, so it's 
So come on, let's go ahead and install that now. So we're going to say npm install. Let's get rid of this and we're going to say react and then hyphen hyphen save. All right, so let's, let, we did a lot of work here, so let's hope that everything is uh, is working as planned. So we're going to save this, and now we need to go over to our uh, routes folder where we were making use, and we were just sending back this static response to our React, um, or to our, uh, we we're sending back the static response. We don't want to do that anymore. We need to be a little bit more explicit that we're using the, um, we're going to be looking for a view. So by doing that, what we're going to do instead of a resource send, we're going to say resource dot render. This editor is pissing me off. All right, so now we're going to say index, and we're making use by index. It's going to look inside of our views folder, and it's going to look for an index.jsx. That's just how this magic works. And now for right now, I want to send back an empty JavaScript object, and we'll get into that more in just a moment, but just follow this uh, verbatim, if you would, please. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and see if this thing even compiles. So go ahead and node app.js. It looks like we do have a problem here. Can I find module react dom server? What the fuck? All right, so it appears there's actually something new. This um, error here is because the React DOM was taken out of the React library, apparently, because uh, they were trying to lo loosen it up. So let's go ahead and just see if we can install uh, the React DOM and then hyphen hyphen save um, and see if uh, that will work. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. All right, good. So that was just a situation where it used to be in React and no longer is in React. So just go ahead and do that extra thing. Um, now that we got this joint running, let's see if um, we can reference the uh, JSX or if it blows up or not. So, all right, yep. So this was built using React. Now the cool thing is if we go ahead and right click and we say uh, View Source. Oh, I just did a search. I meant to um, inspect element. Or you know what? I can just what the shit? Uh, anyway, guys, so this is um, this is actually being rendered on the server, so it's not some sort of, you know, the browser uh, or the search engine requests the page, and then the server passes down a bunch of JavaScript that ends up having to be executed on the client side. This was executed on the server side, and the result was HTML passed down from the server. So it's a it's a more traditional approach, um, but it is fast. So that's what's um, really cool about it. Anyway, guys, um, so. Let's go ahead and uh, make another adjustment to our uh, application here because what we want to do, uh, we don't want every view of our application having to like render the entire HTML um, structure. So what we want to do is make use of a like a layout page. And if you've ever done web development in the past, you know that like um, you know, pretty much every web framework out there from Django, Rails, or ASP, you have ability to do a layout. And you can do the same thing with React as uh, a view engine. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's create this um, this layout folder, and we're going to create basically just a master.jsx folder, uh, JSX file. So we'll say uh, master.jsx, and then inside this master is going to be like the main structure of our application. So like we did before, let's go ahead and um, at the top say require React, and then down here we're going to go ahead and create the uh, master layout. Let's close this off. Okay, so this is where we're actually going to have the uh, entire structure of our application delivered in a render statement. So we'll say render. So the entire HTML structure should be put inside of here. And just for right now, let's go ahead and just keep things as simple as we possibly can. I'm going to paste this from another file. I'm going to get rid of this meta that I don't need. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, close off the head and give it a body and the body and the HTML. 
and then we need to put the HTML at the top. And if we want to do proper indenting, I should probably do that. And um, down here in the body, where we actually want the the page that inherits from this um, to pick up, so we we actually want to say this and make sure it's in curly braces, just like this. So we'll say this dot props dot children, and this is uh, more React specific, but you'll see why this is necessary in just a moment. All right, so this master file looks pretty good. Let's make sure that we're actually exporting it. So go all the way down here, and we'll say module that exports master layout. And now in the index, we want to make use of this master layout that we just created. So let's go ahead and uh, we will say at the top of the file, we're going to give it a default layout. So let's go ahead and say variable default layout and it equals require and we're going to tell it where the mass the, the layout file exists so we'll say forward slash layout and then master I think it would just, yeah just call it master so you don't have to say JSX or anything um, just say master and now in order to be able to use the default layout we need to inside of the return statement we're going to be saying return the default layout that we're actually importing at the top there and let's pass in the argument that we're going to be making use of in the title. So we'll say this dot props dot name. And then let's go ahead and go down here and we're going to close off the default layout. So let's close that by saying default layout. So we've closed off this statement. And now where we set in the default layout this dot props dot children it's actually going to render anything in between these two tags so that that's why it, it's so awesome that's why it was so important that we did that so now that we've done that we've made use of this uh this default layout but we have this this dot props dot name that's being used and there's nothing being passed but what we can do we can go back over to the index.json where i said we were passing in an empty object and this is where we can give it a argument where we could say holy crap and we'll make it this is awesome so we're passing down this statement as a name it's being sent to the master view and the master view is making use of it right here so this dot props dot name so now if I went ahead and I went back over I might have to restart my server in fact I probably will let me go ahead and uh, restart the server we're going to run it. We made a lot of changes here, so let's see if we run into an error or not. Uh, render is not defined. So this is just a simple uh, JSX problem, so let's go back over and check this out. Yeah, that was just a typo where I said render. Render is fine here, but this needs to say return. So that was a JSX compilation problem. So let's go ahead and restart the server. It's working now. We go over to uh, this file here. We look. And you can see this was built using React. So now if we go ahead and we, we right click and um, this thing's not letting me view source. Control U allows you to view source. And you can see what's being passed down. And this is actually making use of that HTML default template. And then you can see the title being passed down. But you can also see the title in the tab. And that's where we're making use of that variable and that object that we're passing down to the, the master layout. And just so you guys know, if you wanted to um, use that inside of um, a page that is inheriting from that, you can do that uh, as well if you want. But uh, we'll get into that in another video. But for right now, you can see that's how we're passing down a variable from the view and into uh, the parent and then the page is making use of a master layout and then putting this uh, you know additional information so that way most of your HTML 
source can exist inside the default layout and then this page can make use of it all right guys um so that's that's all in uh, video two and uh, in additional videos we're going to get into how we do html and css and stuff like that using express and uh, react all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe bye